Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Mia. We are continuing The Leftovers, Season 1, Episode 3 called Two Boats and a Helicopter. But first, what happened last episode? We had The Recruitment Process of Meg mm -hmm. by Lori and The Remnant. What was the G for? In the GRG? G something Remnant. Guilty, I think. The guilt. Guilt? Was it guilt? I don't think it was guilt. Was it? It could be, but it doesn't guilt. sound like it doesn't. I, click. Oh yeah, yeah. Guilty remnant. Guilty remnant. Um. Yes, yes I thought she was gonna leave. Yeah, I thought point. she left, but she was chopping down the tree, grew a beard. She was wearing a flannel. She had uh, she had that meal from Mel's Drive-In called the lumberjack meal or some shit. She'll probably get her white clothes this episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, like, what the hell is that? No, I, I was trying to remember the, if that's the actual name. Of the meal? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I... I found it... So I found it kind of weird that they try to recruit people. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense, mm -hmm. right? But I like how Patty said something like... If she's not gonna work out, then like let her go. Like yes. it sounds a bit more like um, they're not just gonna be like, no, we can't lose her at all. You know, like we need to grow our numbers. It just was more of like if it's not gonna work out, then let her go. Like move on. Um, yeah, I don't know. It made me not so like I don't distrust the the remnant as much as I did in the first episode. Yeah, it kind of tells you that they're not like fully set on like brainwashing people or whatever or, yeah doing. like they're not just trying to grow their numbers come on mister you're gonna pause our recording <sighs> okay um yeah and then we have we have nora who's driving around with a gun um we have tom who is protecting i guess christine because uh the wayne um uh, our the hugger mm-hmm was um, rated. rated yeah what else we saw like the main stuff oh and then uh, yeah and then we had the thing with um with uh garvey's dad and, and oh Lucy, yeah the mayor yeah so he lost his shit apparently um, which now that clip the from clip the first episode yeah makes, from, sense. makes sense yeah him running naked it was like a quick <laughs> little flashback yeah i was like okay was he, it was he, <laughs> like he was just like a crazy dude like just a wild sheriff or whatever former chief <laughs> oh former chief just having crazy like drinking stories or something but no he's actually um dealing with probably schizophrenia yeah sounds like it mm -hmm. but he said they sent someone to talk to garby so we'll see what does that mean mm -hmm. right yeah okay Anything else? We, yeah i think that's like the main stuff that happened okay, you ready yes. let's go this is the story of a little girl She's been asleep Amen. in a coma. The girl's name is Emily. Let us pray. Who's that guy? Who's that? What the fuck? Uh-oh. Oh, he's getting his ass beat. Oh, please! She sold what? Oh, she sold oh. drugs. Wait, is this father the one that said not everyone was a hero? Oh, is he the same guy? I'm guessing is that he's really struggling with um, the fact that some people were possibly taken. So he goes around saying all the bad things that so, certain people have done. Yeah. So he was the one at the park. Yeah. During, okay. So he was. He was the one. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure at first, but yeah, it seems like he is. Here we are again. 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 Occupational hazard. They need to hear the truth. Your dad understood that. He really thinks this is the way to go about it. Gotta get his ass killed. Emily. A girl who was in here. Do you know what happened? She woke up. Oh. Asked for a sprite. My congregation. This morning, we prayed for her. Well, she woke up last night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> His smile went away quickly. He's like, I did something. Sorry I haven't been in a while. My wife, ever since the 14th, she's not really into, you know, 
How long uh -huh. does it take to do a, you know, baptism? Uh, oh, okay. I thought he was about to, like, leave, leave the kid it. there. Yeah. <laughs> this guy I worked with, he used to get loaded and drive out to the Indian Casino in Connecticut. Gamble away his paycheck every other Thursday, but he cleaned out his kid's college account. He went on the 14th. What was his name? Andrew Sasaki. I think I know what happened to your face. Yeah. <laughs> Can See? you help? The birds. I have to deal with this. Wait, why is he like... Maybe he thinks it's like a message? There's been an offer on the church. Oh. An offer? Who's the buyer? Patty. Corporate LLC, probably a, oh. a hedge fund. Fucking hedge funds. Oh shit, he's getting gentrified too? God damn. I thought it was Patty. I thought so too. Now, if you can come in, all cash, even all one cash. dollar above that price, I can get your name back on the deed. Damn, this guy's doing them a solid price. 135,000. Oh. oh shit! How much time do I have? A day, two weeks. Tomorrow. Oh <laughs> fuck! A day. Oh my god! Oof. You're gonna have to add yourself to that list, guy. Does Patty have money? I think he would be willing uh, to do that. You're right. I need to borrow one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. Who is she to him? What? They're gonna sell a church. You can't just knock on my door and ask for $135,000. <laughs> I thought the benefit money. Oh. Uh, uh. That money was for my husband and my children. Oh, fuck, dude. You really went there. Get the fuck out. Will you stop making your paper? Oh. <laughs> what? You're asking me for something? I'm asking you for something. Oh, he's not gonna agree to that. Can't do that. Why not? People need to hear the People truth. People need to punch you in the face. I didn't say it was easy to hear. It's about the accident. It's about the judge. But you kept going. You dug up your dirt, and people called you crazy behind your back, and I defended you because I knew you were in pain. What do you believe in, Matt? Do you know where my family went? Oh, really? Do you know what it was? It was a test. Test? Like, yeah, dude, you know more than everyone else. Well, if it was a test, then I think you may be failing it. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Maybe it's time to let it go. He's going to go in full on identity crisis. <laughs> He's going to go become a white walker with Patty. Mm hmm. Doc was having an affair. What? 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 Kid's preschool teacher. It's the one story I will never publish. <laughs> it's like he's blackmailing her now, possibly. <laughs> That's fucked up. Even if it's true, the fact that he sat on it for three years and used it right now, like, come on. You don't need the money because he was a piece of shit. Yeah. He could have said that right when it happened. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Is it the judge? When she says something about yeah. the judge and the accident or something? I wonder what happened with this accident or whatever it was. Maybe the judge is the one that disappeared and he was like a piece of shit. He did that to his wife. Maybe you shouldn't be doing service or anything. You shouldn't be a priest. <laughs> You got a sign from this painting. What is it? What? The pigeon. Is there another pigeon? Wait, why is he there? That's Kevin Garvey's place. What? Why is she there? Your father-in-law, he left something here. Uh-huh. For me. Mm -hmm. Please don't tell mom I was here. Tell I don't her. Say anything. Tell her. If you will. Huh. 
So Lori just hangs out there. That's sad. That is sad. Made me like her a little bit more. You don't like her? Well, no, that's, that's, I didn't dislike her or like her, but... Compared like just, you. Yeah. <laughs> this judge took bribes. Roy Hater. Deserve this. KG. It's flashing. What does this mean? He's, he's, he's doing it like it's a sign. Oh, where the pigeons were standing. Would you like to bet? On that yes. table. Um, on red. All of it? Oh my, oh god. my god. Where'd he go? Oh! Red. I don't know what that means, but he's... Winner! Red! So, what did you win? I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Doubled it? Oh, shit! We got a player here! Again, please. Red. Red. And yeah, these people are congratulations. They're watching him. Eighty thousand. Nope. Oh. He said one, one more time. One and more. He's got it. Gee, what the fuck are you doing, Tina? You can jinx the guy. That's some fucking jinx. No, you bet with it. No, no, no. Black is due. Sorry. Eighty thousand on red. Good luck. He's gonna lose it all to these people. They like, and then he's gonna have to kill them to get the money. They like changed it on on him. The... <sighs> now he's wanting it too hard. Oh no! No <laughs> more bets. Oh, oh. Fuck! What? You got it? Damn! <laughs> oh my god. You better stop there. Yeah. Good place. I'm so happy. You better watch your back. Oh my god. Yep, these people are gonna be following him. No! Oh my god. He's gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Lock the car. Lock the car. Don't fucking go through it. Lock the car. Get out of there, dude. Lock the fucking car! Hey! No! You're winner! Chicken dinner, right? You deserve it. You deserve to get jacked. Stupid. Why don't you hang on to that? And I'll just take that envelope. You really oh. didn't lock your fucking door. He had enough! Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god! Holy shit. Wait, is he dead? Probably. <laughs> oh my god. Having a fucking uh, Heisenberg moment. Yeah. Hey, he's putting the money back. Okay, at least he put the money back. This other guy deserved to die for being an asshole. But I mean, he's also not like a good person. Oh my god, he's gonna get involved with like shit he doesn't need to be getting involved with. Oh shit, they threw a rock! Cedar Lane and a... Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> oh! They got his ass too. Wait, he's not in the I same spot. He's my inhaler. Is he? Did he die? What the fuck? The baby. The kid. When he was sick. I'm sorry, Matthew, but it's spreading. Oh, so he was a kid. Are they burning in there? What? Mm. They His did wife. have an accident. Oh, it was the car. I had a feeling it was that same car. The car where the person disappeared from. Yeah. Maybe the judge was driving, huh? Hey, he that you? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. He lost Where's the, the money? What time is it? 
You need to sit down. Oh, it had a deadline. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Four thirty. Where's the money? Dude, chances are you're not gonna find that fucking money. It's there. <laughs> He's not gonna make it. Just go. No. I need to see Jim Lewis. Oh, it's the cash. Hey, it's Matt. It's okay, Frank. Let him in. Too late, dude. All of it in cash. I'm sorry, Matt. It's it's done. It's too late. It's not the same day. That was three days ago. Yep. Oh my God. You came in on Monday. It's Thursday. This is Thursday. No one here wanted them to have it. But they paid all cash, no escrow. Damn, all that shit for nothing. He's gonna end up in a white suit. I have a feeling they did buy it, Patty. Boom, what'd I say? Damn. Why? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just make an enemy? Did they not? <sighs> that was good. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good episode. Full of mind fuck for him. I had a. I'm, we knew it was Patty that was gonna buy it. They have an LLC. So I'm guessing it's they're acting as like a bigger thing, not just like as like a company or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, buying up the properties. I think this is probably my <sighs> favorite episode so far. Um, episode three. Episode three. Episode three. <sighs> oh, shit. I love how like in the end, the close-ups on the music, it was like you're like almost consumed with like these two very strong like belief systems that are like mixed in with their identity and like everything and they're just staring at each other over this damn building <laughs> it felt intense as hell yep what the fuck what did you think what did you think of father matt I mean, it was hard not to be like, come on, get that money, you know what I mean? <laughs> save your church. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, he himself is fucked up, not only for beating the guys that, I mean, the guy kind of deserved it for the money. Mm -hmm. Well, who was the money for? Okay. The note. What so, did the note say the again? Note, so, this GIF, Jiffy, GIF, the peanut butter jar. Jiffy. Jiffy. Had some old money, yeah. But it was wrapped in one of his posters. Yes. And the sign, the little message, was signed KG. So I'm assuming it's Kevin Garvey, right? You deserve this, or you something like that, right? What was it? I didn't write the whole thing. It was just like. You deserve this. But you said there was something else in front of it. I, there was a name. Was it Matt? During editing, we'll probably see it. <laughs> I'm assuming it's for him because why would it be specifically wrapped in the um, the paper of, um, I think it was the judge. Yeah. Right? So that means that in some way he he gave it to him or he had permission to, he gave it to him in advance without him knowing but he knew the money was there yeah that's what i'm thinking that's what's kind of confusing because the money seemed like it was old and maybe he knew that the dad had some money in there right and then kevin also knew what's the dad's name the dad's name is... does it start with a k also dennis i think it's dennis, dennis garvey oh you're right Hmm. So I don't know, but I mean that was that was a big um, leap though. If he was just like, 
I know about this money and who's who's it hurting if I take this money without like actually like asking for it. Yes. Right? Which was already kind of eh. Um, even if it was I with mean, the permission. Yeah. He was already kind of like fucked up anyway for what he did to his sister. And holding that information. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, overall, he was he was too busy pointing at other people's like faults but he was like not aware of what the hell he was doing at all right yeah um and yeah i feel like the whole thing with his sister with nora was really messed up and i just you know like people have different ways of like thinking about like affairs and like whether you should say something or not or whatever i think your sister like tell her right? yeah um, yeah she needed to know but the timing him was super fucked up he held it maybe with no like obviously like no intention of telling her but when he needed that money he was just like oh he was a piece of shit so can i have your money yeah <laughs> there's also a chance that it wasn't true and he was just trying to like be shit. desperate and shit on shit her to on get it. the money oh, to get the money yeah but chances are since he is like the dirt guy that it was true know. yeah, yeah. I, th- I don't know. And then how he also said that, like, it's a test. She told him he's failing, which is true, because look at what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. But that felt, like, really messed up. Like, can you imagine hearing your brother tell you that your whole family is a test or was a test for you or something? And, like, you just went poof. I don't know. It was, oh, it was tripping. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, it was so exciting to see him like with his journey to try to get the money and just everything being so close. The pigeons, the sign. Um, but that's, yeah. Who doesn't lock their car door? As soon as you get in there with like, if lock. you know, even if you have like 200 bucks or something, you just lock that shit in the dark. In a parking lot at night. Yeah. <sighs> And then he did that to the guy. Oh, shit. I don't think he killed him. It looked like he was, like, like he was about to kill him. But I think when the when the girl ran over, I don't know. It looked like he was still breathing. But he yeah. really fucked up. Yeah. Damn. After all of that. And then he stopped. Oh. Oh. And then he, he lost his church mm-hmm. because he stopped to help. One of them. Oh, one of the. Oh my god! And that's god. why he lost this church, and they bought it. That's like an extra slap in the face. But now I'm thinking, it kind of seems like they were targeting him to recruit him, possibly, right? Because they kept watching him. Mm-hmm. But here in the end, it kind of looked like head on. They're gonna be like bumping heads or enemies, or she could just be like. Now you have no choice and come to us. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. Is he actually going to go join them? Or is he's going to be, is this going to be like his target? Yeah, it can go either way. Because the way that he's been struggling with his faith, um, he has money that he, in his eyes, that is his church. Even if it has paint on it, he's probably like, that's still my church. So he might be like... As long as I have a say on how this is done, yes, I like can create my own religion or some, some like I don't know. Yeah, or they can use him and this church to recruit more people in some way. Yeah. Right. Right. I think that's most likely where it could go. I mean, they have a church, and also not just that, but like, I feel like that's kind of a statement for this like cult. That now when you, you know, you're driving or walking down the street, you see this church that was, like, taken over by them. That's kind of intense. Powerful. Yeah. Like, right? Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen with this um, group, the remnant, if it's going to keep growing or not. I want to hear Lori talk after seeing her in the backyard. The, so you can tell I, she's there for her family, still kind of, like, connected to them. Right? She was just hanging out there by herself, not with one of her twins. Yeah. Or Sultan people. What's that? 
It's from uh, Dude, Where's My Car? You know, oh. like Colt with the bubbly suits. They say Salt Hand. I, like every... I don't remember. I've only seen that movie. I They're like, Salt Hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she's there. And it's something that they shouldn't be doing because she said not to say anything. Mm-hmm. What will Patty think of this? What will Patty think of this? And is he going to bring it up? Is he going to try and force Lori to try and talk to Patty about giving it back or something? Oh, yeah. Or I'll tell her that you're over there. Mm -hmm. Interesting that he... the. I understand why he was upset about the accident, but it's like he needed to blame somebody somebody for what happened and he just categorized everyone that was doing at least one little bad thing into like the whole bunch of, like yeah these are the all yeah they do assholes. all of these fucked up things from like the smallest things or you know, possibly i don't know but everything all the people did um but yeah he doesn't see it for himself <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think this is all I have for this episode. But holy shit, that was a fun episode. That, that was, really was fun. It was intense. Yeah, it was. It's funny how the um about the girl, the Emily, the one that was in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> I know the 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 nurse or the medical person was like not trying to shit on him, but yeah, it's just like she woke up last night. She woke up last night. It wasn't your. You didn't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I have nothing else for this episode. Same. All right, well, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, just drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.